What up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? You are now officially on the mic with Mike. Well, that's Mikey Johnson, that is. And this is Effective Talk, in the more resource for raw humor and community reflection. It's being brought to you by on the only station that gives you the double the inspiration and information, WGIV, the soul of Charlotte Radio. And tonight's show is being, being brought to you by Effective Media Inc., your number one resource for web design and digital brand development. If you need any of these resources to help grow and maintain and take your business to the next level with a next effective level, please call us directly at 980-989-6958. And don't forget to visit our website at www.effectivemediainc.com. That's effective with our I, not an E. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest host today. He, is, he reigns from Washington, D.C. He is a unique creation within himself. Where I see his uh, company's name, Unique Creation. Let's give it up for the world renowned fashion guru, Jonathan Pope. But he goes by the name John. What up, John? Hey, how you doing, Mike? Appreciate you for having me. Hey, no doubt, man. Hey, once I, I have to admit, man, you know, once I got this show started, you were one of the hosts that I definitely wanted to reach out to and bring on. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, man. Hey, um, let's let's get into it, man. Tell the, um, the viewers, the listeners about uh, Unique Creations and what's your inspiration behind it? Well, Unique Creations is a label that I started a few years ago. It basically is the representation of how I've always defined myself. Um, as you know, Mike, I've never been the type of individual who wanted to do what everybody else was doing. I always wanted to be the type to stand out on my own and let my own creativity speak for itself. And I wanted to express that through my fashion. And I came up with the label to allow other individuals who felt the exact same way to express themselves and feel like it was a label that was catered towards them. Oh, most definitely. But um, can you tell the listeners, what are some of the most challenging um, parts about being a fashion entrepreneur? And how do you, how you throughout those difficulties, how do you um, continue to follow your passion? Well, probably one of the biggest challenges, as you know, as being an entrepreneur, is everything falls on you. You know, we don't have the luxury of having to go to our HR department, go to our higher-ups, go to, you know, anybody of that caliber to basically take the weight off our shoulders. It's our responsibility to make everything happen. So that's with every decision that we make, uh, every type of action that goes into the business, um, to basically to make it successful. Everything's on our shoulders. So that's probably one of the biggest challenges, but that also drives within my passion. You know, I mean, fashion is something I've always loved to do. I've always been a creator. I've always been the type to always want to make my own mark in the art world and in the fashion world. So for me, my passion is what drives me to be able to overcome any challenges that I might be able to face. So uh, when did you um, decide that you wanted to um, become a um, a fashion entrepreneur? I mean, what age and you know, what time? Well, I mean, I've been designing clothes since I was in high school. I mean, that's kind of pretty much where this all got started. You know, I was one of those types of individuals that was, you know, drawing on my clothes, drawing graffiti on my clothes. Um, I would take a T-shirt and just flip it out to become something completely different. And from there, it just grew into being able to what I'm doing now and making it to an actual full-on brand, um, which is something I've been very proud of, something that I don't take for granted. Um, but like I said, again, you know, I've, I've always felt that fashion was something that would help portray my creativity and allow me to get to other avenues to basically be able to do the same. Yeah, not only... Um it also help you express your creativity too, because I noticed that on um, some of your designs you have and some of the the characters that you have drawn. I mean, they look very authentic, but yet yeah, appealing and nice. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, absolutely. You know, I mean, obviously within my clothes, I, it, it definitely portrays that creativity style of me. But also, I want to get meaning behind what I do. Also, because like I said again, you know, we all have that our own little uniqueness within ourselves, but because of how society pretty much wants to label everybody to certain cal- to some categories, puts us in boxes, you know, I wanted to basically make something to where it gives people the freedom to feel that, you know, 
I want to be able to express myself the way that I choose to be. And I pray that society accepts me. But if they don't, that's okay, too. I'm still going to be myself and be and not afraid to step out on that. Yeah, that's right, because it's always good to, um, to stand out and, and instead of being in the crowd, because as long as you're in the crowd, you'll never get noticed. Absolutely, you're right about that. Yeah, but what um, what excites you the most about um, about the fashion industry? Uh, probably the thing that excites me the most is how diverse it's become mm-hmm. and how it's constantly growing. You know, I mean, fashion is a fluent thing. You know, it's not something that's stagnant. It's not something that always stay something always stay the same for a certain amount of time um it's constantly moving it's constantly growing it's constantly changing um and that's one of the things that's most exciting about it you know i mean it makes somebody like myself always have to kind of think about the next thing um i can't be t- um, content in the designs that i've done in the past or the styles i've done in the past it always keeps my mind going it always keeps my energy going it always keeps me looking to see what potentially i could be doing next um, well, like I said, again, which is exciting for me, you know, because, again, as a creator, you always want to be thinking about the next thing that you could be coming up with, and it always just keeps those those creative juices flowing and giving me something to aspire to. So that's definitely something that I've always loved about the fashion industry. It just definitely keeps your energy and your vibe at a positive level. Because, um, I mean, from one artist to another, I know you get very, very excited when you see um, individuals where... where something that you actually created yourself. Yeah, I mean, when that's probably one of the biggest joys that I have as being a creator. You know, when I get to see other people wear my designs and wear my clothes and just the excitement and the joy that they get from doing it and because they feel like it's something that they relate to and that represents them in a positive way, it, it's no better feeling than that. You know, I mean, as artists, we always want our artwork to be you know, looked upon in a positive way, to be judged the right way, uh, to be accepted. So to have that feeling, to have, like I say, in those moments when I know that I've reached somebody in the right way, you know, there's no better feeling than that. Yeah, man, because uh, as, you know, being an artist, that's the way we speak, you know, that's the way we voice our, um, our expression. And you have to think about it like this, um, fashion is a way that a lot of people, you know, express themselves, you know, ready, not only the way they express themselves, but how they present themselves. No way. Absolutely. Whether, you, whether, you, you, whether you're a well groomed person or whether you're a more casual groomed person, you know, it's a way that you actually express yourself, you know, it's that um, art. Right. Form. So, um, how, how would you measure your success in the, in the fashion industry thus far? Well, being that I'm still, you know, an up and coming label, you know, I haven't really made the mark that I want to make within the fashion industry, but that's something that I'm constantly working towards. Uh, for me, my validation comes from, again, those individuals that understand my message, understand the mission that I have with my label, with my brand. Um, like I said, again, it goes beyond clothes for me. You know, this is a lifestyle brand that I'm trying to create and that I'm trying to make sure that it's substantial and can sustain the test of time. Um, something that will obviously be around a lot longer than I'm, when I'm gone from here and that the whole trend of unique creation will continue to grow, continue to grow. It will gravitate to more people. It will enhance more people's lifestyle. And like I said, again, it will be something that we all can feel proud that we were a part of seeing and seeing grow to its capabilities. Hey, most definitely. Hey, you must tell the listeners about your upcoming event um, this month. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. You know, I have a my show that's coming up, uh, upcoming February 25th of this year. Um, I had the opportunity to actually collaborate with um, another label that I'm associated with called the Phoenix Handbag Collection. Nothing but luxury and unique handbags for obviously for anybody who, who loves those type of products. Um, and we wanted to really make something and put something together that not only will be a great showcasing for us both, but definitely something that will enable everybody to feel like this is a, an event that they can look forward to as the years come. Um, and the name of the show is called Epic. Uh, which stands for empowering positivity within our community. Uh, we wanted to make it so that, you know, everybody around us sometimes don't necessarily know of the certain people in their environment that basically do the same things that they do, or aspire to do the same things that they do. And this way, I want to be able to bring all of those kind of entities together and let everybody know that, you know, we all can band together, support each other. We can do incredible things. 
And, you know, we have a lot of local designers that I'm going to be bringing out to the show, a lot of up-and-coming designers, aspiring models, you know, seasoned models are going to be a part of this event. Um, so it's definitely going to be something that, you know, if you're definitely in the DMV area, you definitely will want to come out to and be a part of. It's going to be something that's going to live up to his name of being epic. Oh, so um, what is the event going to take place um, in the time? It's going to it's taking place in Warnoff, Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, again, the date for the event is February 25th of this year. Um, it's going to be from 4 to 7 p.m. And like I said again, man, we're just looking to have an, a, a great time, have nothing but positive energy coming out to the event, um, nothing but individuals who love what they do or are passionate about their craft and want to showcase it all to the public and let them know that, again, if you got people in your inner circle that's right, that could very well be in your backyard that are doing great it, great things and it's up for us to be able to give those type of individuals a platform where they can stand on to let the world see hey most definitely hey can you let the listeners know um where they can find um unique creations and more information about the event but well, more importantly um uh, where can they find your your new your um your fashion label because i know a lot of people yeah. around here they can use um they, they would love to um look at your um your fashion collection <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, well, they can definitely look me up at uniquecreationapparel.com. That's uniquecreationapparel.com. Um, you can also look me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at UQC Apparel. And for the information about the event, you can go to eventbrite.com. That's eventbrite.com and search for the word EPIC. And you'll be able to find all the information in relation to the upcoming event that goes down in February 25th. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. But um, I'm going to ask you one final question, and this is a must-have. Sure. And what's, who, who is the biggest influence in your career thus far? And also, you have to let the, the viewers know, I mean, the listeners know, what can we expect from Unique Creations and the man, John, himself, throughout the rest of the year? Oh, man, well, there's been a lot of people that, like I said again, that definitely helped me along the way. A lot of different clothing labels that I've been basically, you know, I don't want to say copying, but definitely looking for inspiration for to see how they got started, how they basically made their mark within the industry. I um, mean, having the opportunity to be a part of different fashion events, such as DC Fashion Week, um, the American Art Fashion Week down here in DC, Baltimore Fashion Week, some other events that I've been associated with to definitely kind of help, you know, get my creativity and my craft to where I wanted to be. Um, but I would probably have to say, man, one of the biggest inspirations I've always looked at was Damon John. Um, you know, Damon John was obviously one of the founders of FUBU, um, who turned a just a t-shirt label that he started in his basement into a global brand, you know, and I think anybody who's ever wanted to produce a t-shirt line or a clothing line, you know, to have the success that that man has had within his career and now being able to go off and be of an influence to other brands and other companies and help them reach tremendous heights. I mean, I think that's the ultimate goal, you know, and like I say, for me, that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? I'm an artist first, and I'm a creator first, so right now, fashion is my medium, but ultimately, I want to be able to help and inspire others to help them with their business and their craft to take them to the next level as well, so again, so we all can be winners. Hey, most definitely. What can we expect throughout the year, um, 2017? I know we only on one, we only already in the second month, so... I mean, yeah, you know, like I said, we, we're already in the second month of 2017, and like I said, again, we've already got the ball rolling. Uh, I mean, again, we got the show coming up, the uh, epic fashion event that goes down to February 25th. Um, I'm already going to be doing a couple other shows right after that gets done with. I have my spring collection that's going to be debuting in April of this, of this year, um, along with the other collections I'm going to be coming out with as the, as the year progresses through. Um, so like I said, man, we got a lot of things going on within the label. We're very excited about where we're going, the direction that we're going in. And I just want everybody to, you know, keep following us, keep seeing what we're doing, pay attention to the drive, pay attention to the journey. And like I said, again, we're going to do some great things in 2017. That's why you already here first. Um, being a unique creation is not just a creation, man. It's a lifestyle. That's right. It's a lifestyle, man. <laughs> hey, as long as you're being effective, man, that's all that matters. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's what we try to do, man. That's what we try to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for um, John. John, excuse me, um, John P. I'm gonna call you John P, man. I'm not gonna call you Jonathan Pope. I'm gonna call you John P, man. 
Come John on. Peace, fine, Mike. We can rock with it. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our show for tonight. This is your host with the most, Mikey Johnson. I'm wishing you love, peace, and happiness. So until next Thursday comes, I'll see you when I see you.